Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at SparkPoint. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, if you haven't seen the previous update, I would recommend you check it out before watching this one. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of your video. And yeah, watch that before watching this one. Now jumping into the daily chart over here. So you can see that we had a nice pullback from the swing high over here. And I think it was something around 60, yeah, 57% uh, basically of a pullback, which is right now a good entry point. You know, it still is a good entry point, even though in this day only we have appreciated at 21%. So we're starting that move towards the golden ratio. And as you can see, we do have the FIB set up over here from uh, where is the swing high from the swing high over here to the swing low over here. We got to the 1.414 got rejected back down to the 0.382 and now we're making our way back up and you know potentially potentially we may get a bearish cross on the daily chart but maybe what i do see happening and i've seen this happen multiple times is that we invalidate this potential bear cross by having a massive pump basically so and that will cause this ema squeeze uh, the price will sling over uh, the 20 EMA's shoulder. And like I've been talking about on my Twitter, in the Telegram, in the Discord server, that, you know, this dump will last for a couple of days. And, you know, last November in 2017, that dump was, uh, it lasted for about two days total. Here, you know, it did get a bit extended, but right now we see the markets recovering, which is nice. So, yeah, we're looking for some resistance on this golden ratio at 0 0.00503. But other than that, you want to look for the resistance at the 20 EMA and at the 55 EMA. We can get rejected off of those. But hopefully by tomorrow, I want to see us above the 20 EMA. I do not want to, you know, have multiple candles opened below the 55 because we're going to get rejected back down. So potentially, uh, we still do have some time before this candle closes. So it would be ideal if we got above the 55 EMA at least so that the EMAs will start, you know, straightening out a bit and we can consolidate maybe for a day or two and then have that move towards the upside. So, yeah, we're looking at the 1.618 over here at 0 0.0104 as our swing high. And, you know, I've taken a look at all these patterns before. So, you know, watch the previous videos to understand what's going on over here. Uh, obviously you can see that this support is sort of still holding as you can see so we're, we're going to keep extending this trend line further out because you can see it's still holding we're technically making higher highs and higher lows you know and, and and it's 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 doing really really well right now and you know a nasty pullback i know sucks to see but you know it is what it is uh, we're waiting for the tier one listing in december and i do hope that's going to be binance because if that turns out to be true we're going to see all these levels pretty much met uh, we can see some strong wicks even towards like you know seven cents six cents potentially ten cents as well but those i would imagine would be temporary for maybe a couple of hours and then we'd pull back down so if you see spark point sitting at 10 cents after the listing or at the day of the listing I would suggest you take profits on that because, you know, either way, we're going to have a major pullback in January, in December, in February, where whenever it is, we're going to have a pullback and altcoins are going to pull back nasty. So we're going to come back down to these three, four cents, maybe two cents for all these projects. Well, for SparkPoint in particular, if we're going to get to 10 cents, then you look for 90, 95 percent pullbacks on all your altcoins so yeah but main main target over here is 0 0.041 cent and at the second fib level we do have the five cent target over here and the 272 over here is at 0 0.0572 cents so that's it for the price action on the daily uh so here we did actually come back below this uh below this trend line over here now we're starting to get above it and we kind of did hold this as support over here so we got bounced off of this support trend line so that's good that's still holding support and right now we're going to be looking for this pink line to break back test of support and off we go towards the end of the year 
Okay, now jumping into the four hourly chart, I set up a little fib over here with some targets. So you want to keep a close eye on this level over here, which is the golden ratio on this you know, particular fib extension, because we do have the swing high over here that we had uh, at 0 0.0092 cents and the swing low over here that we got yesterday. So we're looking for the bullish cross on the 20 EMA. We are above the four hourly 20 EMA at the minute. We're holding it as support, which is perfect, doing everything we need to do. Now we're aiming to get to the golden ratio, and this is potentially where I would see a little pullback. You know, we could hit this as a resistance, come back to the 0 0.5 and have the next wave up. But we could, you know, do something differently and, you know, just melt through these levels and maybe come back to the 786 or to the golden ratio as support and then have the next move towards the upside. But, you know, generally speaking, I would expect some resistance at this golden ratio over here, because as you can see, we got rejected from that zone once before and we got rejected from that zone uh, once again over here. So. Yeah, keep those things in mind if you want to take profits, obviously. Uh, for some reason, KuCoin is trying to piss me off because it, it removes the, the drawings for some reason randomly, and I don't know why that happens. So ultimately, we're looking at the 1.618 over here at 0 0.012 cents. That is going to be our target over here, and this is going to be our potential major resistance that you may want to look at as a take profit zone. Personally, I'm not going to be taking any profits until we get to the Binance listing on SparkPoint. I may swing trade a bit, but, you know, I did state that I'm done with swing trading for this part of the bull market because we're, you know, we're coming closer to the euphoric stages of the bull market. And I don't want to be that guy who sells and waits for a pullback and, you know, the markets completely explode and go the other way and go parabolic. So I want to be able to secure my profit. So. I'm waiting patiently for the Binance listing. I say Binance because I do hope it's going to be Binance. You know, we may get screwed over and it is going to be, you know, a different tier one exchange. But, you know, we do hope it's Binance. CZ is is following SparkPoint on Twitter. So that could be a little giveaway. And they they are doing great on the Binance Smart Chain, one of the more solid projects, because a lot of crap on the Binance Smart Chain at the minute. And SparkPoint is a really solid project, in my opinion go do your own research into it. But like I said, yeah, I don't us I don't see us pulling back any further. Now, if we did have another uh, little pullback over here and this was a fake out, you may potentially come back to the same level over here at 0 0.004 cents. And that would be your kind of double bottom pattern over here, which would be a bullish pattern as well. So if we're going to see a little, you know, pullback one more time, then do expect to buy some spark point tokens at this level. But other than that, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check me out on Twitter. I did forget to take a look at the oscillator, so I do apologize. So, all right. At the minute, Stochastic is in the overbought or in the over, yeah, in the overbought over here. So once you start getting to this zone, this is the take profit zone on the Stochastic. But this is the four hourly chart. So I wouldn't trade uh, the four hourly Stochastic because you can see here on the RSI, we were in the oversold over here. We had a strong move towards the upside. And now I do expect us to consolidate for a bit. And we did hit a level of resistance, as you can see here. This is a strong level of resistance on the four hourly charts. We got rejected from that. Potentially, we're going to come back a bit lower and, you know, have the next move up because spark point does move, you know, quite rapidly uh, in these, you know, in these phases after the market has been down for a couple of days. We got the bullish cross on the on the MACD on the four hourly, so that's your confirmation. The histogram turning to the upside, so looking bullish on the four hourly chart. And yeah, I would suggest you know you still have time to get into Spark Point and these pullbacks. And you know even right now, still a nice entry point from here to the 1.618. That's 172% of profit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys. Check me out on Twitter. Check out the Discord server and check out the Telegram chat. Also, we do have a Patreon running. Make sure to check that out. We do have uh, different tiers with different benefits, guys. A lot more personal one-on-one -on -one connection, personal chart requests, video requests, and all that good stuff. So make sure to check it out if you feel like that's something that you'd be interested in. But that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.